Sir, we're here today about an incident that happened back May the 3rd of 2018 at the 8799 North Loop Freeway building. Are you familiar with that building? Yes, I am. And how are you familiar with that building? It is the building or on um, the security that was there was managed or by myself or by our team, which is Tejas Tubler. And I suppose that you had the chance to talk to the defendant's lawyers before this deposition? If I spoke with them, yes, I did. And about how many times did you speak to them? One time and everything has been over email. When was it that you spoke to them? Sometime last week. And about how long was that conversation? Three minutes. And the emails that you have back and forth, about how many emails? Just cancellation from your part because they had to try to keep on trying to reschedule since you guys keep on getting COVID over at your location. Excuse me, I, I didn't hear what you just said. Did you just say that we keep getting COVID over here at my location, <laughs> sir? Yes, sir. I guess it was rescheduled for one day and then they called me or I called in and it was rescheduled since someone had COVID. That's what, that's what the email said. So it sounds like you have three certificates related to safety. Is that true? Yes, it is, sir. And do you agree that in order for a company to be safe, that whenever there's an incident that happens, that they have to perform an honest investigation into the incident in order to find out what happened to try to prevent the same thing from happening again if it's preventable? Yes, it is. As part of your job, you investigate incidents and near misses, true? Correct. Did you speak to anybody about what they saw happen? No, I did not. The only, thing I, the only person I spoke to was Esteban to see what had happened. He said the person had fell, and they had hit their head, and they had called the ambulance, and that's exactly when I got there. They, that's exactly what had occurred. Did he say what caused her to fall? No, he didn't tell me what had caused her to fall. What we had looked was over the video cameras. So after we saw her on the video cameras, we saw that she had tripped on her crawler or that the walker that she had. So you say that the video shows her tripping over her walker? It's the reflection. There was a reflection of her falling on on the cameras. So on the first on the first floor, it pointed toward the insurance company. And on the end, it's where you see her fall. And, and I did, remember. Based upon your investigation, you found that she tripped over her walker? Yes, we had noticed that she had fell closer towards the wall as she was walking from the entrance. So as soon as she came in, she had walked several steps before tripping over her walker. And did you? what else did you do in, in order to perform an honest investigation into the positives. Uh, we downloaded we downloaded the video, we gave all of our written statements, Esteban's statement, what had happened, and they were handed over to Carla Arias. The recording as well, since we had already downloaded it and it was all given to Carla. Now, there were some witnesses who say they saw what happened, true? Like I said, I didn't speak to anyone other than Esteban and there was a police officer and the ambulance that were there. But you were there to, you know, help out to see what happened and to perform an investigation, true? Yes. And I was there. When I got there, she was already in the ambulance, like I said. As part of your investigation, you learned that there were some witnesses who said that they saw what happened, true? Yes. If there is some witnesses, but we did not get any names of who saw or what saw or who was there. Sir, so, so you, you talked to Raphael, you reviewed the video. Did you do anything else to investigate what happened? That was it, sir. We just downloaded the video and handed it over to Carla. And that was now, when you perform an accident investigation, normally, do you use some sort of a form? Yes, we have a safety blast form, which has a root cause, preventive, corrective actions that are put into place. Was there any form like that, you know, filled out in connection with this? No, it was. Or, yeah, I'm not aware if there was. I'm going to show you what I'm going to mark as exhibit number two. Are you able to see this, sir? Yes, I am. Sir, this I will represent to you. This has been produced in this case by the lawyers as 
basically the incident report. Did you send this email? Yes, I did. Now, halfway down, it, it says witness, and you have two people listed. Is that true? Yes, sir. And then you you got their phone numbers? Is that right? Yes. What's that? Yes, sir. And then you wrote down both witnesses say she tripped on Matt. Is that true? Is that yes. what they said? Yes, it's on there. And, and, and then it says, per video, witnesses were not paying attention top entrance. Is that what you wrote? Yes. So at this point, it's true that you have two people saying that she tripped on the mat, true? Yes. And then you go and look at the video after that, right? And then see if they were looking? See exactly what happened. Not if they were looking, but we, we went to go see the video to see what exactly occurred. Now, is it your opinion that Miss Pace tripped on the mat? No. My opinion is that I believe she tripped on her, her walker by the video. That's the reason why it states per video, we're not paying attention to top entrance. So it's the key part of this and you not believing the witnesses is that you think that they weren't paying attention? I believe so. I'm about to show you a video and you let me know if there's more video than, than the one that's been shown from a different camera because I have never seen that. All right, so are you able to see the video or the uh, screen? Yes, I am. And these, this is a video that's, that's taken inside of the front door, true? That's the, the front top door, and then there's another one that's on top, and there's another one that now there's another video camera on the inside on top of where the chain um, sign says. Did you review other video other than the view that we're looking at right now on, on the day that this happened? No, I think this is, the only, this is the only video we reviewed. Now, in this video, there's two people back here. Is that true? Yes. Are these the two witnesses that you included in your email? What was the two names of the people? James Clark, and I think the other one was, I can't Colleen. remember. James Clark and Glenda Jones. And who, Colleen Pace is the person that was injured, correct? True. Okay. Yes, those were the two that I had listed. So Esteban speaks to them and gives you that information? Yes. And you received that information in connection with your you know, activity of investigating this, true? Yes. And that information, the substance of it was that the witnesses say that she tripped on the rug. True? Correct. And then you go and you pull the video and in the email, you say, that's what they said, but they weren't paying attention. Correct. All right. All right. Let's see if they were paying attention, sir. Are you able to see the man over here with a, looks like he's got a tank top on and he's facing towards the camera? Yeah. He's a, a vet, an army vet. So I'm going to hit play. And you would agree that his face is facing towards where Miss Pace would be walking through. Yes. Let's see. Were you able to see that, sir? Yes, I was. So if you, he was looking down. If you replay it, he's looking down and she's looking at him. And so this is a pretty good viewer that I have right here, which allows you to actually play clip by clip. Same. So did you have a viewer like that whenever you first reviewed the video? No. What we did was pause it, went back, and we were able to go front and back to it. But if you um, step by step. Let's just we'll see it's at six seconds. Where does it appear he's looking right now, sir? He's looking down or he's looking straight at, at the door. He's, or sir, isn't he looking out. straight at where Miss Pace is coming from? Yes. What? Yes. Does it appear like he's looking at right at Miss Pace? Right now. Yes, it does. So do you agree that when you wrote per video, witnesses were not paying attention, top entrance, that that was not true? Well, there's two witnesses. You just spoke about one, but you say that both witnesses. It says both witnesses. So you just speak about one. One was looking that way, but the other one was not. But you said per video witness were not paying. That's plural, true? Yes. 
as part of your investigation into what happened to Miss Pace, did you ever speak to Miss Pace? No, I did not. So you never asked her what happened? No. It was already in the ambulance. Let's do something here. Are you able to see that, sir? Yes. So do you agree that in this case, Miss Pace is saying she tripped on the rug? Do I agree that she tripped on the rug? No, that, that she's saying that. Well, she didn't say anything to me. So I'll Okay, well, you. I'll represent to you, sir, that Miss Pace is saying that she testified that she tripped on that rug. Is, is, is that something that you disagree with? I, we could disagree, especially with the video that you just put. When you stopped it play by play, if you look overhead where the camera is and that point, that's about maybe five feet from the door as well. So and you agree that we just watched or that there's two that there's two witnesses who say that she tripped. 